Praise God, praise God, you gorgeous people out there on YouTube and on Facebook. Yes, I did say gorgeous. Blessings to you and your family this morning. I hope everyone is doing well. The one that has had issues yesterday, a loved one is hurt or loved one passed away. Our emphasis go out for you and prayers go up to you for you this morning. Um, I want to talk today to the Christian people, uh, the Christian wives, the, the Christian girlfriends, and the Christian girls that's dating to let you know how important you are to us as men. I'm covering up for all the men now to let you know how important you are in our lives. Uh, one thing I want to talk about, uh, if you're building a house and you know that the foundation is set, but it's something about, it's called a sister Joyce. Most people know uh, that do carpenter work or know how to build, know what a sister Joyce is. Well, what is a Sister Joyce? Well, let me tell you what a Sister Joyce is. A Sister Joyce is an extra beam. If I was building a house and I wanted to put a second floor on the house, I wanted to remodel upstairs, but I was putting in uh, different stuff. And Well, first thing, the architect is going to have to know how much is this going to weigh. And so when he put the structure, the foundation, there's sometimes they put a sister beam in there to help support uh, the weight so it don't come crashing down. And this is the role that a wife play in a relationship. She is the sister beam of that house, of the foundation. This is the order that God wanted it to be. God didn't want us to come back and dissect the scriptures. Because I can easily dissect the scripture. I could easily say, well, how did Eve get pregnant and wasn't by no man? See, that's dissecting the Bible. And that is a no-no in God's sight. You have to be careful in doing that. And we took the first in Genesis, we changed that where we said it was all right for same-sex marriage. When that went to the Congress, the government, and they passed the law, it brought on COVID. Come on, somebody. So you have to be understand what we do that's not of this Bible. They're, they took prayer out of schools. We And I remember, and you, you, you young people don't remember this because they're not doing it, but you guys that's uh, over uh, 50 know what I'm talking about. When you went to school, you said the pre Pledge of Allegiance in the morning, and somebody would come over to intercom with prayer. They took that all out of schools, and now there's more shootings in school than ever before. Not to go in there, but I want to talk completely about the Sister Joyce and how you guys are so important in the role of being married, being fiancés, and being girlfriends. Let me read this in your hearing. One of the best things about being in a marriage is knowing that your partner has your back. Through the ups and downs life will bring when it comes to having a wife. Men have said there is nothing better than the knowledge and the trust that comes when they know their wives supports them. And that, that's so true because I watched a movie the other day where Ice Q played in it where his niece uh, was so depressed because her dad went in her life. And all of a sudden, he started teaching her how to play football. And she played football. And right when she got a little famous, here come her dad. And, but even though he wasn't in her life through this time and she could have had an attitude, she was so delighted to see her dad supporting her. And that's what a role of a father play in the house. And this is the role that God wanted to attend. It wanted to be the husband that takes instructions from God. And then the man, by knowing the Bible, because uh, he talks to God, can help his wife if his wife is not flowing with the Bible herself and then the wife work with the children along with the husband about God. That's the order. When we come in and talk about men ain't no over us and women, we could have the right. That is not what God intended. He already knew there was going to be debate about everything and a debate about, about the Bible. But when we as people start throwing the Bible away, then which we can't get rid of the Bible no way because the Bible said that you should have it burnt in your house, in your heart. So just in case if they take the Bibles off the shelf, you still have enough Jesus, God himself, in your spirit. So the sister Joyce, you are so important to play your role as a wife. And this is also what it says. It says, God did not create Eve to be under Adam. Underline that. God did not create Eve to be under Adam's feet or to be uh, inferior to him when 
the design of marriage, when the design of marriage, this is where we got to pay attention, of marriage became a construction zone. God saw it was fit to create a sister Joyce. <laughs> Eve was designed and built to support Adam. This was the construction and the structure of the first marriage. Mm. And the Lord God said, it is not good for man should be alone. Well, I experienced that, especially as a pastor or any man. You have to be so careful because one thing about the flesh, I'm talking about the flesh, uh, your body, your emotions, your feeling, uh, your sexual arousal, all that is the flesh. There's no control. That never gets saved. Let me say that again. That never gets saved. You can come out of a prayer meeting uh, with nine pastors and get at the stoplight and some girl walk across there with a really, really short dress on and, and showing her body. You're going to look. If you're a man, you're going to look. But what we have to do as Christians, man, you have to look and then bring yourself back. Come on, somebody. I said look and bring yourself back because looking and staring and reacting to it with uh, wrong motives can get you in trouble. My God. And men of God have to uh, be careful so so because, you know, media and people is ready to kill you and, 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 and throw you under the bus like all of other bad pastors. But we have to remember. God said, how many times do you forgive a person? Seven times? Eight times? He said seven times 70. 490 times you're supposed to forgive a person. So we have to have a forgiving heart. And and the scripture is, let me go there. I'm not fault. Uh, Proverbs 18 and 22, it says this. Uh, you can quote me. He that finds a wife, find a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. So to, just to let you ladies know, let you men know, be good to your wife, be good to your fiance, be good to your girlfriend, because it means a lot when you take care of the sisters. God have favor for you. Well, I'm Pastor Diggins. I love you guys. Hope it was a good little short word for you to get you going, to let you know, sisters, you play a good role in the relationship, in a husband and wife, in a relationship, in being uh, fiance and a relationship of being a girlfriend. You have a role to play and make it honest, make it good, and make it pure. I love you guys. Be blessed out there. Have a good day.